Hello, it's Paul the Ripples Guy, and I'm making this really quick video for you because, um, well, your mom reached out to me and she was worried about you because you were really sick and far away from home and she was feeling upset and anxious because she can't be there with you. And, um, you know, I've received a bunch of emails from people who are sick or people who have loved ones that are sick and I've been trying to help everyone and feeling overwhelmed at times. And I, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, and she, all she wanted was me to send a sticker. And then she mentioned that her daughter's girlfriend, I'm like, wait a second, we're talking about a lesbian. I need to drop everything. Do I need to fly there and take care of her myself? We can't lose a lesbian. We need all of our people. So I am making this video to you to say this. I am so sorry that you are sick right now and I'm sure it's compounded with your asthma and that probably makes things even more scary. Um, and I'll tell you one of my favorite, one of my favorite um, books that is also one of my favorite movies, Fault in Our Stars. I really like how that movie deals really kind of frankly and openly about with the possibilities of being really sick. Um, and the reality is it sounds like with your situation, there is a whole lot of reason to be really hopeful that that you're on the upside. And I also know that if you're still having fevers at night and if you're still having cough problems, the night is when it gets scary and then that can kick in the anxiety and make things even worse. Um, and so, ah, if you don't know this, I don't think, I think it's your mom that's seen me speak and you haven't. And I'm gonna really quickly tell you that one of the things that I teach everyone that hears me speak is this here now technique. You just take three deep breaths and on the inhale, think the word here. And on the exhale, think the word now. Here now, here now, here now. And it doesn't solve everything. It doesn't fix all your illness. It doesn't take everything away. It just helps you be a little bit more centered. I'm gonna send you a Here Now sticker um, or two so that you can have that. The other thing I wanted to tell you is a couple years ago, uh, just two years ago, I was in the hospital. I had a very mysterious, wasn't feeling well, was feeling bad, and then was feeling really bad. And for three days was getting dizzy and stayed in bed because I thought I'd put the more I rest. And I was crawling to, excuse that airplane. I'm trying to talk here, I'm helping a lesbian. God, the rudeness, anyway. I ended up in the hospital, in the ICU. I had lost a quarter of my blood and they had no idea how or why. And they were like, yeah, we're gonna start, to, uh, we don't know what's going on. And that, that was the worst. I also was getting migraines that I get occasionally and they wouldn't let me take my medicine because the medicine thinned my blood. So I was stuck every night with these excruciating migraines and it was awful. And I really was convinced at, at times that I, I maybe I should just die because it was so awful. I literally got my phone out and I googled pain management techniques and I came across this technique where I was told to scan my body and just notice any areas that are not in pain. And what struck me about this is it wasn't about ignoring the excruciating migraine. It wasn't about a distraction from it. It was reminding my body and my brain that there were a lot of places in my body that weren't in pain, even though there was some that was. And that what tends to happen with our bodies when we're in pain is we focus on it so much that we feel like we are 100% in pain. And just scanning the body and noticing, oh, my shoulder's not hurting. Oh, my chest is, is not hurting. Oh, my knees aren't hurting. Is that, again, it doesn't make the headache go away, but it puts it in a larger context that helped tremendously. So maybe give, give that a try a little bit. Um, and the other thing is, if there can be little moments where you and Rachel are giggling, whether, where you're having fun, even if it's micro moments, anything that you can do to smile or laugh, not just as a break from the yuckiness, but it actually builds your immune system and it lowers your pain. Uh, and there's tons of studies that approach that. So that's my little quick message to you. I'm gonna put in the mail for first thing Monday, you're gonna get some We Got This stickers um, because curious minds, being curious about how you can learn through this might also help the extent to which you've got a brain cell you wanna let focus on thinking. Open hearts, calm spirits, finding ways to be present, 
and anything, of course, you can do to nurture your health. Those are the four things I put on the sticker. Um, and I'm also gonna send you, send you here now stickers. Oh, and I'm also gonna send a set to your mom too so that she's gonna have that too. Oh, and I'm gonna send you a copy of my book. Let's do that too because it has these little one minute e emails that I send out every Monday. My boyfriend picked out, shh, I'm gay too, shh, don't tell anyone. Um, but my boyfriend spent four months reading all 1,000 ripples that I had sent out over the last 20 years and picked out 52. And if I do say so myself, some of them are really good and they will, I think they'll help. So I'm going to send you guys a copy of the book. I'm going to send you some stickers. For goodness sake, do what you can to feel better because all of the gays, we're all rooting for you to get better. All right? Take good care and let me know how you're doing.